It's Mimisir's voice. So, this is the updated setup of my HCL reactor. This is most likely going to be the final setup because I think after this, there's really not much more I can do. Power supply, using the same old 5 volt, uh, 50 amp capable supply. Right now, I'm only running at around 8 amps though. I'm not going to go any higher than that. You can divide this number by 2.4275 to get your current. Which I do, that's using a shunt between two points, the same exact setup as my chlorate cell, except I'm using it for this guy. This is the electrolysis cell. So I'm using a PVA potential barrier, uh, not PVA uh, porous barrier, or PVC porous barrier with PVA, so it's an ion exchange membrane. I'm using a salt cake because I noticed that if you use just a salt solution, it creates some sort of phase separation. I see like a lower brine layer at below, which is not good. That would mean that eventually depletion of the brine would happen and yeah, electrode erosion. So salt cake, it may cause some buildup on the electrode, but I can just clean that with hydrochloric acid that I'm producing anyway. And obviously the cathode chamber, I made it much larger so it can run for much longer. Over here is where HCl is generated. So I've already tested this reaction countless times. It's fairly safe. I've never blown up ones even with high amounts of fluorate. So when I run this, uh, when I do this, like you can see that there's like mist coming out of this. The moment that gas enters this chamber, it, it reacts and forms hydrogen chloride vapor and it fogs up immediately. Which is good because that was actually acidifying the water below. And there's outgassing of excess chlorine, which for, or maybe it's ozone, whatever it is, it's just as bad as what comes in. So, yeah, that's going outside. And in case once the acid gets to like fuming concentration, I need to use a water bath. Otherwise, it's gonna, well, it's kind of obvious what's gonna happen. The, I'm gonna start seeing fog coming out of that hose, and that's never good. Over here, I have some of the hydrochloric acid from previous run. This this is all uh, plastic. The only metal is on the outside, so I'm gonna go collect some. And I'm gonna drop it onto some baking soda. That works pretty well, to be honest. And that was using the previous cell that used graphite, which is shit. Using MMO, you, your oxygen evolution doesn't happen as much as graphite. And not only that, it, it won't start happening unless the uh, chloride levels get below 100 grams per liter. Which won't happen because I'm using a salt cake electrolysis. So having all of these measures, my electrolysis setup should make much more HCL than the last one. So that's all good. That's the end of this video.